Hey guys, it's Ty here. Happy Monday. Today I'm going to share my most worn watches of 2024. Let's do a wristwatch check. I am wearing my wife's OP41 today in the green dial configuration. Just a classic Oyster Perpetual. Can't beat that. And guys, I did a most worn watch video a year ago for 2023 and my third runner up was my Tudor FXD. My second runner up was my uh, Explore 2 Polar Dial that I've since sold and upgraded uh, to the newer version. And then my most worn watch of 2023 was my 5513 that you see here. Um, so about six months ago, I decided to bring the watch that I've owned the longest in my collection, my 114060, back into the rotation. And I have to say, guys, uh, I'm so happy that I did. Uh, I, I love this timepiece. And it really, you know, looking back in my watch journey, this one in 2018 was really the pinnacle of my grail, what I wanted out of a dive watch. And to me, this is really the template of, can I say perfect dive watch? <laughs> I think I just did. Uh, so I, I absolutely love this. And it of course has all the hallmarks of the original Submariner, but you have all those upgrades, the ceramic bezel, maxi case, the maxi dial and hands, and of course that amazing glide lock system. Um, so to me, this w used to be my daily wear watch for a long time, uh, but I'm so happy that I brought it in. And this is gonna be the third runner up for my most worn watch of 2024. Number two was number one last year, and that's my 5513 from the year 1984. Uh, this was my grail watch for a good seven years, and I'm so happy that I waited to find uh, really the example that worked for me. Uh, this one is an unpolished case, original bracelet, everything's original, eggshell patina, it has that acrylic plastic crystal. Uh, it's running pretty well for an old, older watch that I haven't serviced yet. Um, and you know, this one to me, I, I don't usually wear it on the bracelet, it's a little bit too loose. Uh, I usually have it on a NATO. Uh, but to me, I mean, I wore this on my wedding day. This one is everything that I could want from a vintage Submariner. Uh, and I absolutely adore this timepiece. Almost my most worn watch uh, of the year. But this is going to be number two. And number one, the title goes to my Explorer 2 16570 from the year 2000. Uh, and this one really snuck up on me. I bought it last year. Didn't wear it very much initially. I bought this one and another Explore and Explore One. Uh, but then I started wearing it and I thought, gosh, you know, it's a new old stock um, example. It still has a sticker on there. Very, very tight bracelet, super comfortable. It has that black lacquer dial, very under the radar. Splash of color with a GMT. You get a date, Cyclops, of course, that fixed bezel. This screams purpose-driven watch to me, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I have to say, guys, if you're looking for an older Rolex sports model, in my opinion, this is the most underrated one out there. Uh, what you get for your money, the value of this watch to me, uh, really, really, uh, is really amazing. So take a look at this model if you haven't before. Um, I, I just I just love it and I wear it at least four days a week to work. Um, it's, gosh, it's been my daily driver for like four months now. Uh, so this is my most worn watch of 2024. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Share your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of these most worn watches and let me know what your most worn watches are of 2024 and I will Talk to you soon.